Today, I'm going to talk to you about what happens if you're from the UK or your own assets or have connections to the UK. Over 1.3 million Britons now live in Australia. Conversely, many Australians have assets in the UK or family members living there. It's important to look at your planning, both in terms of inheritance tax planning and estate planning here. In terms of inheritance tax planning, the UK looks at what's called your domicile. This is a complex, archaic concept, but essentially you have a domicile of origin. If you were born in the UK, for example, and parents from the UK, you'll have a UK domicile of origin. But you can actually acquire what's called a domicile of choice if you've moved to Australia and intend to stay here permanently or indefinitely. The difference being is that if you're domiciled in Australia, then you're only subject to UK inheritance tax on your UK assets and not those in Australia. But if you're still UK domiciled, your worldwide estate is subject to inheritance tax. So there's a big difference. Importantly, the rates of inheritance tax are very um, penalising. So anything you own above £325,000 is potentially subject to inheritance tax at 40%. If you're um, transferring it to your spouse, provided you're the same domicile, that's exempt. But if, say, you're transferring it to your Australian spouse, that's not exempt, only up to £325,000. So what can you look at doing? So we often advise clients who um, have moved here and tend to stay here to prepare what's called a statutory declaration of domicile, just setting out your facts and circumstances um, of why you moved to Australia and intend to stay here. It's not binding on the UK tax authorities, but it's much better having that evidence should something happen to you. It's important also to look at if you're setting up a trust in Australia, because that can also potentially be subject to inheritance tax. There's also been big changes um, in the UK, which are proposed to go into place in November and be retrospected to April to individuals with um, trusts here owning residential property in the UK or who um, are originally from the UK and set up a trust who are moving back. So you need to take tax advice there. You also need to look at the estate planning um, issues. So um, we usually advise people who have assets in both countries to have wills um, in both countries and documents to deal with incapacity. Although the UK and Australia will respect each other um, in respect of um, reciprocal documents, it's often better from a tax and asset protection um, planning perspective to have separate documents because you can be more flexible in Australia with your planning. It's important also to look at other tax issues and, and to ensure you're compliant. So the recent changes to investors um, of residential property um, mean that income tax changes and stamp duty changes are, are very significant. And also um, relatively recent changes to stamp duty affecting residential property. So you need to ensure you're up to date with all of that. Hall and Wilcox can assist you. As you can tell, I'm originally from the UK and qualified in both countries. So we're aware of the issues and, and how to best structure things from both jurisdictions perspective. And we work with trusted UK advisors in the UK to ensure that your intentions are achieved.